Zero. Do you not know the answer? It's my head, I just can't think. You know you don't have to do this, right? Yeah. Man, I just got this camera brand new. It cost me three hundred dollars. Yeah, it's cool. It's got a twenty-six point optical zoom. It's got. Are you uh, sure about this? You can sit there and yeah. have night vision. Yeah, I'm sure. It's got a straight light on it. Okay, man. We're well, ready. It's a little funny. It's kind of straight comes off, but that doesn't bother me much. This is gonna be cool. Is everything ready? All good here. Uh... It doesn't appear to be working. No, sh Dr. Joseph Weinstein developed what was then and is still a very controversial theory regarding the process of electrolysis. Weinstein thought that he could separate the ego and the id from the human psyche so that the mental capacity of the individual could be investigated much more deeply by electroshock therapy. Now, two things came out of this investigation by Weinstein. One, the death of the patient, and two, the life sentence of Dr. Weinstein in the New York City. Spontaneous cranial combustion just isn't feasible. Um, why don't you hey, try? Hey, Professor Lee. Yes, Will. I was wondering if an experiment like Dr. Weinstein's would have better results if you use modern medicine in today's technology. Well, a couple of problems. One, it was a complete failure. Two, who in their right mind would take part in it and who would fund it? Yeah, that's stupid question. No, she may get hurt. I don't want to hurt anyone. Who are you talking to, honey? Bill, mommy. How many times have I talked to you Are you okay? We gotta do it again. He wants us to. That's just stupid. Dude, I thought electrolysis was like the removal of unwanted hair. I <laughs> know, that's electrolysis. <laughs> Did you really just ask that? Man, shut up. Are you okay? I didn't do anything. Call 911! No! no. 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 Thanks. I'll see you later. Two, three, four, breathe. Oh my, oh my god, god fix this. this. One, two, two three, three, four, breathe. What happened? You effing died, dude. Did it work? I think it did. I feel different. I, f I feel cleaned. Like, like I'm new.
I'll set some clothes out for you for tomorrow. If you want to. Thanks. You know, right after you stop moving, I've never been that worried before. Promise me you'll never do anything like that again. class, but I put your clothes out on the couch, so I'll All see right. you later, okay? Bye. That's good. I'll see you. Yeah, they're on the couch. Enter William. What are you up to today? You remember the Weinstein experiment? Yes, and I told you it was a dead end street. Well, what if I was to tell you that it worked? First off, I would call you a liar. The Weinstein project was a huge, huge failure. It resulted in the death of the test subject and it set back the study of electrolysis for decades. Well, it worked. William, are you telling me that you went around my back and conducted a dangerous experiment on school grounds? You're my best student. I don't want to see you risk your life. I don't want to see you ruin your life. And I don't want to see you lose your future career in science. I'm thinking you're just a little bit jealous, Professor. William, I think you're acting a bit childish. Don't call me William. It's kind of pissing me off. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I need to make a phone call. The regents are not going to be happy to find out that there's been an unauthorized experiment conducted on this campus. William, I said it's time to leave. It's time to leave. I'm tired of people telling me when to leave. Now it's my turn. Yeah, it feels like I'm always here. I'm just head back there. He's still there. Hey, Professor, I got some really good... Professor? Oh, my God. What's wrong? 
He's dead. Who? What are you talking about? The professor, he's dead. Call an ambulance. Hello? I need an ambulance. You still got it. So other than him, no one else has been in there today. Just William and his aide. His aide is? Christopher Jenkins. You have any idea where he is? No. Occupied, man. Hey, get another stall, dick! Will, what the hell, you freaking pervert? Call me if you need anything or think of anything else. Excuse me. You know what I hate about you? How much you look like me. You just don't do me justice. Excuse me. I should thank you again. I've been trying to get out of there for years. Those headaches, remember those? I had to try something to get out of there, get my freedom. Two miles can be a pretty confusing place to be. You've had your whole life to try to make something out of yourself. Now it's my turn. You and mom tried to keep me locked away, pretend I wasn't there. But as you can see, I'm here. Now it's my time to shine. Well, I hate to do this, but I gotta run. I got people to kill, your life to ruin. I got a whole list of things. I'll see ya. Oh, Nazi girl here. She's got herself a hunch. She's gonna see what's in this building. Let's check it out. <laughs> Holy crap on a cracker! It's empty. Oh, okay. Damn, I knew something be in there. Damn it. Brian. Dude, whoa. Calm down, okay, man. No, shut up. Listen, the, the experiment, it it worked and it created the stoppelganger thing and What are you talking about? We have to find everyone that was involved. We gotta stop them. So you're saying there's two of you? We need to go find Alice and Leo, okay? Let's go. Okay. I kind of need him for this. Will, why are you doing this? You nearly died last time. I can't expect you to understand it. I don't even understand it. Just, all I know, just when we did the experiment, all the pain, hate, and anger, it was channeled into this other person, an, an evil version of me. And we have to put it all back. 
I know it doesn't sound the best thing to do, but it's the only way we can stop this from ha from everything that's been happening. Madison, I need you to do this. You have to do this. Finish strapping me in. Turn it on. Will? Again. Please don't make me do this again. You have to. I don't want again. to. Will! Will! We have to do it again. You can't take much more of this. She's right, Will. You know, we could have picked a hotter girl. You're gonna touch one hair on her. Don't worry, I'm gonna touch all her hairs. Leave her alone! Anyway. Guess it's mom's turn now. Come on, she never made her life so easy anyways. We won't miss her. Well, Brian's dead. What? First the big petzer, and now Brian. I don't know what's going on. And I'm just so scared. It's not like anyone's gonna miss him anyways. What did you say? Stupid bitch! What happened? I can't explain right now, but I know where he's going. Who did this? Don't worry about it, let's just go. Who's there? It's just me, Mommy. William? More or less. About time you came to visit. I don't know why. You're just gonna leave me disappointed. I still can't believe you put me in this place just because you don't wanna take care of your mother. After all I've done for you, I brought you into this world. The first chance you get, you put me in this place. A building full of people who nobody cares about. I'm not stupid. I know why you did it. Why is that? Just like your father. He ran out on me, you ran out on me. Do you even know who I am? Of course I know who you are, Bill. Although I haven't thought of you in years, there's a distinct difference in the way you carry yourself compared to my William. He's a sweeter kid than you ever were. Is that why you picked him over me? I didn't pick either one of you. I just forced you two to figure out which one of you is gonna be my son. It just turned out that he was stronger than you. He's not stronger than me. I know something he's always been too afraid to do. What's that? Kill you.
just die anyways. She was in a nursing home. That's worse than death. Why are you doing this, Phil? You remember when we were little? You remember when I was little? You're not me. I made you up. How are you ready to make you up? Come on. Think about it, Will. Hi, Leo. What are you doing? I'm killing you. What happened? He's still here. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright, stay with me here, okay? I'm gonna try and overload both your systems, okay? And causing his system to malfunction and him to shoot back into you, okay? It's not an exact science. Just, just go with me, alright? It's, it's, it's gonna work. I, I'm gonna unplug you at the last second so you hopefully won't die, alright? Okay. Alright. Leo. Yeah? I don't know if this is gonna kill me too, but... I know. Thanks. Let's just do this. I'll count it down. Okay. One. Two. I thought you said you were gonna count down. Sorry, dude. I'm a little panicked over here, okay? Let's just do it again. All right. Medically speaking, he's completely fine. He's just brain dead. So I can't ask him any questions? Not anytime soon. the idea oh uh, you know us creative types draw inspiration from the deeper meaning we find in life you know yeah there you go oh, thank you so much you, you have a good day thank you so who am I making this bad boy out to the name is Bill 